recording. Yay! Happy New Year, everybody. This is probably my favorite day of the year because it's to start new. We get to start brand new. Like whatever you did before, you can throw it out the door. Oh, I rhyme. I should use that. And now we're going to start new. And our new fun food facts, as some of you might have known if you've been on for a while, um, that we are going to be splitting it up into fun food and facts categories. We're going to have three 15-minute segments. We're going to do the best that we can to get as many people on for our, um, for like our guest speakers and trainers. And we're going to have a theme this month. And this month, our theme is how to be healthy. So everything we do is going to be how to be healthy. And these are things that you can take and do at your parties and put into your lives. And after the call is over, Later on this evening, I'm going to post everything that we talked about. So there's going to be, um, there's going to be like pass outs, like the, the recipe we're doing. I got the recipe card for it. The game that Lori's playing, I have the printout of it. So I'm going to post it all so you guys can see it. And I'm going to post it in the events because the event never goes away. So you can always go back to this event and see what we posted in it. So that's, um, that's how you're going to know how to, um, how to find it all later. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I've got some messages that I'm going to answer just a second, but I want to uh, go ahead and get started. And we're going to start actually, um, I was going to do um, Lori first because Megan said she needed a couple minutes, but I kind of wanted to do the recipe first if we could. Megan, are you go ahead and ready to do that first? Is that all right? Megan, can you hear me? You look frozen. Is, did Megan freeze? I don't see Megan. Oh, I think Megan got froze. Okay, well then we're gonna start with Lori. I'm so excited. Lori's bringing the fun this week. And <laughs> Megan's gonna do the recipe, the food, and I'm gonna bring you the facts. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pin your video, Lori. And okay. if you guys still see me and you want to see Lori, then you just click on her video and press pin. And then that will be like her. She'll be right on your screen. Okay, guys? So just give me a second. Lori Morris, just give you a little introduction. She's a direct champion. She's her Ellen Lewis. Super awesome. And she is so talented. And I'm so excited to hear what she does at her parties to bring the fun. So let's go ahead and give her our attention. Go ahead, Lori. Okay. Hi, everybody. Sorry for my voice. I've had like a little laryngitis for a couple of weeks. So far, I'm only seeing Samantha. Okay. What'd you say? What did you say? I'm only seeing you. That's okay. okay. I'm not sure why that is. I think there's just a new update to the screen, but that's okay. We okay. can see you, so we're good. Okay, so here's Dwayne. As a lot of you know, Hi, um, everybody. we do our business together. Um, I'm going to do the training today. He's doing some or something. So um, a little bit about me, like Samantha said, um, I'm a director um, with the All-Stars team, and we are directly under Le Ellen Lewis, who is the three-star director, one of the three-star directors on Champion. And we've been in the business um, uh, a little over two years. It's about two years and two months. And the All-Stars have been a director team we just passed a year. So December was our year anniversary. We're really excited to move to 2017. So when Samantha talked to me, um, it sounds like someone's not muted, Sam. Um, okay, I've got it. I'll get it. Okay. When, sorry, it's just kind of distracting. Um, when we... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I got to unmute you. I muted everybody. I got to unmute you. Hang on a second. I'm sorry, Lori. Go ahead. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. It's kind of distracting to hear other people. Um, well, when we date parties or when we go to parties, our main objective is twofold, to sell the party and to recruit. So as Megan's going to do, Megan is going to uh, make a recipe, and it's mostly everything that you get in your starter kit. Because if you have everything from your starter kit, people realize, hey, if I buy that and I start, that's all I need. Um, and the game, the fun that we're going to do, I do two things. Um, we're not big, gigantic game players. But I think a lot of people have fun at our parties. So um, we sell the party in a fun way. So all you need is some tickets, you know, just a roll of tickets. Um, 
to play these is you need the current sales flyers, which now um, we have two. We've got our Big Weeks flyer and our Sparkle flyer, and then the new catalog, which just opened. So, um, and then you need a bowl like this. I use my green fix and mix bowl that has just a bunch of gadgets in it. It's got, you know, the tiny treasures and um, keychains and all of that. So when I play these, this game, this is what I'm giving tickets for to draw out of here. And you'd really be surprised at how much fun people have to earn tickets. Okay. So the first thing that I do, which Samantha has the, um, the documents is I play an icebreaker and all the icebreaker is, is I go into the party and I thank the hostess and then I introduce myself and then I go around the room and I start on my left and I ask them to tell everyone their name, how they know the hostess and one word to describe the hostess in a positive way. Of course, everyone laughs because inevitably there's family there or something that want to say something negative. So they go around the room and you know I jot down their name and their one word. And the reason I do that, the name, writing down the name helps me remember who's in the room. And the um, one word that they use to describe the hostess, when I'm writing my thank you note to the hostess after the party, I include that word in there because it makes the hostess feel, feel really good that all these people have really nice things to say about them. And um, I write it in my thank you card. So they have something in writing to remember, you know, all the fun things and the nice things that were said about them. And another great thing to put into your um, thank you note is if you can remember, is to take a group picture of everyone and um, print that off. If you've got a photo printer, run it up to Walgreens for 12 cents and include the group shot with you in it, the selfie, and include that. And then, you know, it makes the hostess feel really good and um, she can put it on a refrigerator. So that's the icebreaker game. And then um, the game that we play, some of you may know it, it's called Who Knows the Hostess Best, okay? And um, what this does, this is the fun game. Um, what it does is it sells the party for you, okay? So there's basically... Um, five questions and each question sorry guys for each question um, for each correct answer you give them a ticket okay so it's pretty simple you have your catalog um, and the first question that you ask them is what is the reason that the hostess dated this party so what is the reason that Sam dated this party was it for food fun friends or free and then, you know, you have everybody write it down. Hostess writes it down, but she doesn't tell anybody. Um, the second question is you ask them to turn in our new catalog. It's page 75, which is this page that shows the chart of how they can earn free credits and how it goes up the larger their party is. And then it shows these thank you gifts. Okay. So now there are um, six of them. So you ask them to turn to this page and you describe each item briefly, what it does and what it is. And then you ask them which, which one will Sam choose and write it down. So they choose from these six, okay? Question number three, with an average party of $500 and two datings, Sam will get $75 in host credits and two half price items along with this thank you gift. Um, <laughs> And then you talk about what some of the most popular items are, like the modular mates. So at your party, you would have your modular mates. Uh, fridge smarts, which goes along with healthy cooking, vent and serve, um, ultra pro, the cookware, the stack cooker, pressure cooker, steamer. You don't have to describe them all, but those are our big ticket, big ticket items. So you want to describe at least two or three. Um, that she can earn with her $75. Um, so then you ask them, um, which one do you think that the hostess would choose? Okay. And then they write that down. So basically what I do is I ask them, will they use the 75 to um, shop in general out of the catalog or will she pick one of those big ticket items? Okay. So that's how I break down question number three. Question number four, 
You say, now that they've picked out their thank you gift on page 75, um, we're on to the free host bonuses. So um, will she choose the hostess specials? Okay, so um, depends what month we're in, but in January, you would describe one of the host bonuses is the fix and mix bowl with a $300 party and two datings. And you describe to them what the two datings means, two of their friends dating a party, okay? Um, you describe that. Then you to pick up the sparkle, the sparkle one. This one's through January 13th. You describe that this is a hostess exclusive, our vent and serve, in a limited color of red, um, with a $600 party and two datings. Um, they can earn this, okay? And then you always go to the catalog and you go to the new, um, the new hostess exclusive in the new catalog, which is the modular mate system. So right then you're letting them know if they date a party, not only do they get free, they can also take advantage of the host exclusives. So this part's really important because this usually sells, you know, Tupperware gives us the best tools to date parties. So you know, explain the modular mates and how much they normally are and what you can get them for. Um, so the, the answer to number three is, or the question for number four, sorry, for number four, is will they shop straight out of the catalog or will they choose a host bonus? And you can make them, if you want to get make everybody get exactly right, they can choose which one. You know, here we have three. So, you know, you can do just general host credits, um, or hostess exclusives. So the last one, the last question is um, for our hostess, Sam, to take advantage of the host gift specials, she'll need two or three of you to hold your own parties. So you look at the hostess and you say, who do you think um, will date a party today? Either someone that's here in the room or someone that you know that couldn't make it. And that puts them on the spot. I agree. Yes, I know. Um, a lot of times hostesses will just sit and think about it and they'll choose two people in their head. Um, and sometimes they say, oh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to force anyone. And, you know, I just gently kind of nudge them in that direction and I wait. So they have to think of someone. So they name a couple of people. And um, that's a great thing because then if you haven't picked up any cues on who might be interested in having a party, then you can find out right then when the extras are revealed, okay? So, um, so everybody wrote down their um, answers to the five questions. Now I give tickets to, um, it's a two part for question number five. If they get both of the people that want to date a party that the hostess named, I give them a ticket for each. If they get one right, then they get one ticket. So then you go back to the hostess and you ask the hostess, you go through the questions again, you ask her what her answers are, and everybody that gets one right puts a check mark. So when you get down to um, hosting a party for the hostess, that one in, in specific, I go around the room and I ask each person, you know, who did you write down? And, you know, if they say me, then you know that they're interested in having a party. So, you know, I make sure that I, if there's 10 people in the room, I go around to everybody and I ask them what their answers are. So um, then depends on how many people are in the room. If there's 10 people, then we'll do a drawing, you know, because we have the other half of the tickets. We'll do a drawing for what's in our fix and mix bowl. And if there's 10 people, um, I might draw three, you know, three times for a winner. Um, if they're a really fun group, I might do four. So it's kind of up to you, but people love to get, you know, our tiny treasures. So, you know, it's a, it's a really fun game and um, it's a great way to sell your party and get datings. So that's what we do for fun. So hopefully you guys can do that in 217 and, you know, date a lot of parties, especially this month. That was awesome. Yay, Lori. Does anybody have any questions for Lori at all? Now would be the time to go ahead and comment your questions in the um, chat bar so that we can get those answered for you. And if you have questions that come up later in your mind, then you can always post them there and then we will take questions like at the end too, okay? Just so you guys know. Thank you so much, Lori. Oh, wait a minute. we have questions. All right, hang on. Oh. All your prizes are from the tiny treasures. It looks like the question is, are all your prizes from the tiny treasures? 
Um, yes, basically they are. I mean, I have some um, uh, keychains in there. I guess those are tiny treasures, but um, yes, basically everything is the little magnets, mm -hmm. magnets, chains, and the you know the bag of tiny treasures. And okay. okay. Yeah, people go crazy for this stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, because they're small. Everybody likes mini. And then yeah, Rebecca Stinkleman says, love that game. She plays it too. Um, and then she said, just small, cheap. Okay, great, thanks. But remember, it's not cheap. It's inexpensive because not right. is cheap, right? Yeah. I know and, it's ex and it's exclusive it's for exclusive. Tupperware Consultant. It yeah. is. And I think that's a great thing to be able to give that word. So, yes, good job. Yes. Um, uh, just, oh, oh, exclusive. There you go. Yep. It is. Yes. Right. Okay. So I'm going to switch out here. What we got. Thank you so much again, Lori. I'm so All excited. Right. Thanks, You're welcome. And just so you guys know, we actually have a schedule here, um, on this page. And so you're going to get the core four. this, this month is going to be me and Lori and Megan and Pam Callahan's near core four. So you're going to get three of the four of us every single week for this month. And then the last Sunday of the month is bonus night. And we're going to play like trivia and games and give up prizes. And it's going to be fantastic. So, all right, we are going to get started next. We did the fun first and now we're going to do the food. <laughs> you have to do the food next because my facts are a lot based around the food. So we have a phenomenal director. Another, I mean, we have all the directors in Champion are phenomenal, which I know you guys would probably agree with me. But um, Megan is a newer director and I'm so excited to have her on. She is like fitness, healthy, like fanatic. She's a queen at it. If she knows it all and she's got a family of like 50. And so because of that, she knows <laughs> how to cook. So we're going to pull it over here to Megan. Let me get you up. Again, if you guys just see me, like right now, just pin her video, you just click on her picture and then click pin video and she will be big on your screen. So Megan, get us started, girlfriend. Oh, you have no sound. Let's start again. Can we hear you now? Nope, not yet. Keep talking. Nope, not now. What's going on on your end? We heard you just fine earlier. Yeah, we did. Try again. Nope, can't hear you now. Can't hear you now. <laughs> it's like that commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Not yet. Nope, we don't hear you yet. Unmute her, Sam. Uh, she is unmuted, isn't she? No, it shows she's muted. Oh, on my end, this is my fault. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, gosh, Megan, I'm sorry. Here we go. All right, can I hear you now? <laughs> yes, I think okay. so. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Lori, I'm going to mute you now, okay? Okay. All right, Megan, you go right ahead and you start talking, girl. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, everyone. All right, um, Sam was right. Yep, we're going to talk about something healthy. So I am going to share with you one of my favorite recipes, and I found this right on the Tupperware blog. So uh, you don't even have to go far to find some of these great recipes, but it's right on our blog. It's called cauliflower lime rice, and it's got two of my favorite ingredients in it. And it's cauliflower and avocado. And if you don't know anything about the benefits of both of them, they are just fabulous. So we're going to get started real quick because I want to be able to get um, this all in. But we're starting with your cauliflower. And if you're kind of like, ew, cauliflower, like my son just came down a few minutes ago and said, what is that smell? Because it's the cauliflower. If you're one of them people, there are so many exciting different things you can do with cauliflower. So if you're trying to eat healthy, especially looking at the new year, January, and you really want to get started with something healthy, look for avocado or look for the cauliflower and recipes on that because there are so many things that you can do with it. You can mash it. You can turn it into like baked potatoes. Hang on, dummy. Um, I'm gonna use that, babe. Right now, don't do that, Sorry. please. Um, and um, what? Oh, yeah, that was one of the fifty. Okay, all right. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're taking our cauliflower. I already have it broken up, so 
I've got the florets here. But what you um, are going to use your Great Master Shredder. Now, this isn't in your kit, of course, but since we're doing healthy recipes, there's a few other additional items that I'm using in today, especially. Um, but um, so I'm going to use this shredder, and I love taking the shredder to parties, actually, because when you see it in use and when someone gets to use it, then they want it. They see it then how important it is and how easy to use it is. I actually just posted something on um, my okay. Facebook page the other day okay. uh, because the boys were doing it. And my four-year-old that keeps talking to me, he was using it the other day to grate his cheese. Simple. So we're going to take the cauliflower, you throw it in, and you're going to shred it. That's it. Simple. It actually looks kind of like cheese. But um, what it is is you see this recipe called cauliflower lime rice. There's no rice in it, and that's what everybody seems to think, like it's cauliflower mixed with rice. It's not. It's your cauliflower that looks like rice once we've shredded it. So you're kind of tricking yourself. Instead of getting all those carbs, you're getting something that's super healthy and that, you know, is not uh, starchy at all, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in the shredder. Just we throw a couple of them in, and like I'm, I said, it's simple, easy to use. My four-year-old was doing it no problem the other day. So the nine-year-old, they sit here and shred their own cheese all the time. So we're going to do that. And it um, takes a few minutes to get this done, but it only takes eight minutes in the microwave. We're actually going to steam it. And you want to steam as much as you can if you're trying to eat healthy. Because when you use our steamer, uh, it's just a fantastic, healthy way to eat. Dates all the way back to the 1800s. Steamed food is super healthy. And our steamer, especially if you have anyone who's um, maybe super leery about cooking in the microwave, then using your steamer, um, you can kind of convince them of that by letting them know that our um, steamer is not uh, actually there is no there are no microwaves that are going to be cooking your food. It's actually, you see mine is green because it's the old one and it's well loved and used because I use it all the time. But um, it's actually, it's, it's, it's the metal, but it's encased in Tupperware. So you're going to go ahead and it's cooking it in there. When, it, when it's in here, you'll see it's all closed and sealed up so only the steam's going to cook your food. It's absolutely fantastic. No microwaves touch your food if you have someone who's kind of like leery about that. So anyway, as you can see, I want you to get a picture of what... The cauliflower now looks like, let me see, can you see that? Fluffy, kind of looks like rice, right? Okay. There are some, like I said, a lot of different things you can use uh, the cauliflower for. Um, mashing it as well as um, grating it like this. You can also turn it into an amazing Alfredo sauce. So that's be, you know, something for another day. But amazing Alfredo sauce that you can use um, if you have dairy. Um, issues and you love Alfredo like I do um, it's a fantastic way to kind of get your Alfredo fix so but okay so we're gonna take our, our smart steamer and you fill the base which I've already filled with one and three-fourths cup of water okay it's filled and mm, now here I want to show you this I'm gonna turn my camera a little bit I think so you can see the steamer here uh, the regular one the water's down in the bottom and then I've got my regular part right here I'm going to use my sauce tray. Now, some of you may have it and some of you may not. Don't fear if you don't. But I wanted to go ahead and actually use it today so that you can see some of you that have it and say, I don't even know what to do with it. I've never used it before. Or you can uh, steam or heat up sauces in there. Or you can do something like what I'm about to do here. Now, if you don't have one, like I said, no fear. Don't worry. I'm going to tell you a secret. And what you would do is use your regular base right here and you would lay in it a large cabbage or lettuce leaf, even romaine is fine. I've done that before. And you lay that in there, and then you just put your shredded what's rice or whether it is something like your shredded cauliflower right on top of that lettuce or cabbage leaf. And you steam it right in there. That way you can just get the whole thing, pick it up when you're done, and use that, and it doesn't fall through all of the cracks, okay? So you can do it either way. I am going to use this, though, because I've heard so many people who actually have it and have never used it because they didn't know what to do with this hot part. This is just one way to do it. Now you always want to make sure it's actually closed all the way because you don't want the air getting out here. You want to make sure it's actually steaming. So we're going to put that in the microwave and like I said, eight minutes, okay? So we got that going for eight minutes. Now this is what's great about this. This is a, such a quick recipe and it's, like I said, it's absolutely healthy and beautiful but it's so fast you don't even have time to go run around and do anything but you can because by the time you get the rest of it ready that's done it's super fast 
So the next thing is, and I can tell you too much about the wonderful benefits of cauliflower, um, but I'm thinking Sam might talk about that in some of the facts, but one of the things I will tell you is that it does, it helps to improve your digestion. So um, if you have any digestion issues, um, it also uh, reduces or and it fights inflammation, reduces cancer, so many, or your risk, um, for cancer so many benefits to it you really want to start to get some of that in your diet too and you know this is a weird one i know but seriously if this is you you might want to know this it reduces constipation too so cauliflower is really super helps balance the hormones too so sneak it into your uh, teenagers but i'm going to tell you now about the avocado which my four-year-old will tell you is like my absolute favorite i don't know why i picked that up okay here's the avocado um, and I doubled my recipe, so I already did a little bit of this a few minutes ago because, as you heard Sam say, I have a kind of a large family, so I have to double or triple almost every recipe when we do do it. But when you get your avocados in the store, uh, if you buy them green, you want to wait till they ripen. They look dark, and that's good. That's when you want them. When they're dark and a little bit soft, you know that they're probably perfect. If they're still too green, you don't want them, not even the like the dark green. You want them so that they're looking almost like you would think if there's something wrong with them because they're dark turning like brownish black. That's perfect, actually. And so you want to um, take your avocado. I'm, you know this is, this is a bread knife. I know that, but I love it. It's my favorite knife, so I'm using it. So I'm going to take my ripe avocado, and I'm going to slice it right down here around it. I'm going to go around like this. And I'm showing you this, too, because you want to show people and give people tips when you're cooking for them at your parties because it makes things easier for them and that's what we want to do help people to make things easier eat better eat healthier eat quicker um, or cook faster so you go ahead and you do that and then you're just going to twist it and when you twist it it's going to come apart perfect in there it's beautiful inside if you can see that um, so and then you're going to now don't let this scare you but I'm just going to go ahead and just see they get that little that right there and grab it just like that and now it's done it's out of my way I'm going to use my other knife here, though, to cut this, and all you're going to do is cut it into little chunk, and we're going to turn it inside out and flip it right into the bowl. Um, just a super easy way to um, cut your avocado. I will tell you, though, avocado, I, I love this recipe. Cauliflower, cauliflower and avocado, two amazing things that I think get neglected in our diets so much, um, but you want to incorporate them in your diet especially this avocado. You want to do that because you should at least have a half of an avocado every day. It's so good for you. And don't let the word fat scare you because it is a fat, but it's a healthy fat. It actually helps you uh, to absorb and digest all the other foods that you eat along with it too. So it works for you. So you want to eat it. Um, and if you're afraid of eating them, there's amazing recipes you can use this for as well. And when you do that, um, you can you can mash it and you can put it on, on a <coughs> You can go ahead and you can um, use it to, in a, and I use it in my smoothies all the time, and it adds a creamy texture without a lot of flavor to it, to your smoothies. So throw a half of one in your smoothie every day if you're a smoothie person. Now you see this guy, he's already jumping out. That's what I'm gonna do is just flip it, and all these little pieces that I've cut are just gonna pop right out. If you can see that on the camera, I hope. Yeah, there, and a couple of them stuck. We just scrape them right off, and you've got that. Perfect, okay? I'm gonna do the same with the other one, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the avocado. Is that, can you have him stop that? Please help me with him, he's too loud. Sorry, um, but here's another one. I'm gonna flip that in and flip this avocado in here. But also, I said you could you know, stick it in a smoothie, you could slice it up, you can, you can spread it. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So, so many ways to add it. Add it on top of salad, it's absolutely fabulous. And just a couple extra tips about that is that it uh, helps reduce symptoms of arthritis, too. Um, and another one, digestion. So, you know, the older we get, digestion gets to be an issue. These are two fantastic things to help aid that and, and help your uh, digestion continue um, properly. Anyway, but another thing is that um, they're both great things for your eyes. They both help protect your eyes and your eye health. So it's like amazing things. All right, so I've added them into my uh, medium-sized that's a bowl, which I love. That's my favorite that's a bowl, honestly. Even though you'd probably think I have a large family, I like the bigger ones, but I love to make everything in the medium size. So that's my favorite one. 
Now there's one more thing I'm going to add to that and we're right on time because we got like two minutes and 48 seconds left on there, but I'm going to go ahead and slice my lime. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm actually going to zest it first because we're going to add a little bit of zest from the lime in here. Oh, I'm just going to do it right in here. I'm going to put it right into the bowl. We're just going to zest a little bit. Now you want to make sure you don't get down to the rind too quickly. So move around it. Go ahead and, and zest right away. That adds so much flavor. And I've done this according to the recipe and I like lime. So I like to add a little bit more than what it says, but you can kind of do that to your own uh, taste. So I, I'm going to add a little bit more of that zest and not, not only that, but honestly it makes it so professional and it makes it so tasty. So it makes it look really pretty. I'll show you in a minute too. So one of my favorite, favorite things. Okay. And like I said, I doubled the recipe too, so I need a little bit more. All right, I've kind of worked my way around it. There, oops, slipped out of my hand. Okay, and now we're actually gonna add this as well. But you know what, I'm gonna wait until we have uh, that out of here first. Okay, so I'm gonna slice the lime, and now we're gonna juice it. it. Calls for a half a lime, but like I said, I have a little bit extra cauliflower rice that I've made. So I'm gonna go ahead and juice it. So did you see that squirt out? Is that amazing? This little thing, my four-year-old can do this. It's super easy. And you go ahead and you just stick your lime or your lemon down, and I will show you again how I put it in because I've heard that some people actually think that it's like a little cup. Isn't that right, Sam? And that you would stick your little lime in this way because it looks cute. Yeah. So I guess Sam did this a long, long time ago, though, of course. And she did that and squirted it at herself, right? And everywhere probably else, right? Uh -huh. That's funny, though. But I tell that story all the time because it looks like it belongs that way. I totally get it. So you want to flip it down, you want to put it face down, and then watch this. Do you see that? How much? Actually, I was going to wait to do that, but I'll just have to mix it up when we add a little bit more of the cauliflower in. We've got all the avocado in there. We've got the lime. And it's so, so pretty. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. One more thing here. We're going to go chop. We add a little bit of cilantro to it. This is the last thing, the cilantro. Um, just adds a little bit extra flavor and a little bit of, um, a little bit extra flavor and then, I don't wanna overdo it here. And I'm telling you, it's a beautiful dish, beautiful. So we're gonna chop, recipe calls for half a cup. Again, I doubled it, so I'm doing a cup. Add that to it. Now you can do that again to your own liking. I went ahead and just chopped it. You can use your power chef if that's what you've got at your party and you're using your kit. Use the big one. I just have the little one here handy because that's what I'm using. So you can go ahead and do that. All right. And I heard that ding. Now sometimes you want to leave that in a couple extra minutes um, to go ahead and continue to cook. I know this recipe, so I know it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and get it right back out. I don't really have to let it sit for two extra minutes. Uh, or any extra minutes, I know it's done because it's already, you know, it's so finely grated even though I use the coarse blade um, that if you can see this, do you see that steam coming out? I'm getting a facial. I forgot to tell you about that. You turn it the other way. You take it off away from you, unless you want a facial. I could use one. So you turn it away this way, okay, and you won't get that steam in your face. All right. So when you go ahead and just Add that right in. I'm using my spatula now here too, again, in your kit. So you can use that. I don't know how anyone survives without this, our spatula. You have to have two or three in every kitchen. And here's the other thing I did want to mention, our steamer. If you haven't noticed yet, since yesterday we found out, it is the new, um, it's not the Say Yes offer, that's the utensil set, but it is the, the bonus to that. So if you sign up this month, Tell your family, your friends, everyone that you know, your customers, let them know. You can get our smart steamer for $20 this month. That's the bonus. It's amazing. That, that's $100 savings for an amazing product. I think we should have like some kind of a, a goal that every house in America needs the smart steamer because it's my absolute favorite. I could talk about the smart steamer all day, every day. I love it. So we're going to go ahead and add that to it. I'm sure you don't want to hear me talk about it all day right now, so I'll move on. But you just go ahead and you blend these all together now. I'm going to go ahead and put them right on my little serving platter here. It's actually a fruit bowl, I believe, but I like it because it's pretty. 
So I'm gonna put this on here so you can see it all done. Um, great as a side dish, um, great as a, you know, just a meal, because it's super filling. That's another great thing about cauliflower. It is so filling that, um, it, and, and virtually no calories, that um, you can fill yourself up on it, and if you're really looking for some uh, healthy eating and weight loss, it's an amazing thing that you'd want to eat, because, I'm gonna get the one that's not, where's my, oh, it's still inside here. Um, it's really something that you want to add to your diet. I was gonna go ahead and try to flip this back because it's totally inverted just to add it to the, the dish to make it look cute. Okay, and I want to show you the final product. I'm gonna put it over here though because I'm a messy cook. I always say if there was a show, the messiest cooks in America, that would be me for sure. And let's see, can you see it? Let me try it this way, just in case that didn't work. I just don't want to dump it on my... Love the bowl. Can you see it? Yeah. Wait, you can, see, you can see it okay? There's like a glare on my end, There's so I can glare, tell. But I mean, we can see it, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. How's that? I mean, you see the avocado? See, I'd put more, actually. I like avocado in there. I want avocado in every bite. So it's honestly such a great recipe. And don't be afraid of it. Try new things. There's so many exciting things to do with avocados and with cauliflowers, and they're both amazing for you health-wise. Um, so that's it. I think I per didn't forget anything. All right, that's awesome. We did get, um, we got a question and we have a statement. And I think I know the second, I think the statement I think that you know, but I probably just said it backwards. The first question was, which blade are you using, the large or the small? For the for the gr greater the great master, did you use the? It's I use the coarse one. So is that the small or the large? The large. The large. The large. Thank you. Yeah, it makes it so fine that you really don't need the fine one. Okay. But this was the coarse one, so the fine one I think they would just disappear. Okay, They'd perfect. So yeah. Good to know. And then I guess I didn't catch this, um, but someone caught that you had said. The smart steamer is the activation, and the utensil is the say yes. The say yes is the steamer, and the activation is the utensils. Oh, I said it backwards? Yeah, yeah. I figured that you oh, okay. do that, but as someone had posted that, I just want to make sure. Um, okay. And then we have a comment. I love cauliflower, and this looks great. Thank you. Um, we have this is great recipe. Thanks. And someone else said, I have made a similar recipe just playing around, and it's awesome. So, yay! And I have all these ingredients in my refrigerator. This is what I'm making for dinner. Awesome. Yes, I'm very, very, very excited. So thank you so much, Megan. And yeah. if anybody does any of the questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll get them at the end. Okay, let's switch you out a little bit. Okay, mute, mute me. I will mute you, yes. Uh, there we go, muting. Okay, awesome, yay, I'm so excited. So now we had the food. And we had the fun, so now we're gonna do the facts. And tonight, I'm gonna do the facts. And I wrote down my facts right here on my little notebook, because um, I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget anything. And so, my, I had a thought about this, and I would like your guys' input. So, I'm gonna tell you my thought, I'm gonna go through the facts, and then you tell me in the side chat bar what you want, okay? So, I thought it'd be kinda cute to make these, um, facts like on a like a pdf form that you could print out and then cut out like little index cards or you can get the facts and put them on index cards so you can take them with you to your parties um because we're going to post the recipe we're going to post the game and i really think this would be a good idea um but i want to know your guys' thoughts if you would like that if so i can totally do that i have yes oh good i didn't even okay good well that works <laughs> i didn't i thought you guys would want to take a second to think about it but i like that all right, great, so here's some facts. I found these facts on different things because I wanted you guys to have things that aren't just Tupperware related. Of course, you should have facts about what you're, what you're saying in Tupperware, but with the recipe, because people want to know that you're bringing value to them that, that they can use even if they don't buy that specific product. So I found some facts on cilantro that was really interesting, very, very interesting. Um, so first of all, I thought cilantro was more native to like um, the Spanish, like Mexican culture, but that's not true. It's actually native to the Mediterranean and Asia Minor culture. And I'm like, I didn't know that, that's so cool. And it's an herb, obviously, as we know, and it's very low in calories and contains no cholesterol, zero cholesterol. So what's cool about that is if somebody is saying, 
I have to watch like my heart because they have heart problems. Well, first of all, you would want to use the smart steamer because of course that's great for heart healthy, healthy heart. But then you can use a lot of these recipes with cilantro because that will help you with no cholesterol. It leaves, um, it's leaves <laughs> possess good amounts of antioxidants, essential oils, vitamins and dietary fiber, which she was talking about the, the fiber with your digestion, which may help reduce um, level, cholesterol levels in your blood. It contains good source of minerals like potassium, calcium, iron, and magnesium. I didn't know that about the iron especially. I think that was really interesting to know. So when you're at your parties and you know some of this stuff and you can give some of these facts, what's really cool is that you're giving them knowledge that they didn't know. And they're like, wow, I really do need better iron. Or I didn't know that because it might be possible that you might not be able to buy everything right now. Or maybe you'll go and have a party, right? And then you'll get a bunch of stuff for free at your party so you don't have it all. But you can go to the store and buy cilantro and put that into your, you know, your recipe. So this is good stuff. Um, and so then it also for your cilantro, I don't know if people know this, but you put it in your fridge smart, it saves its life longer. I'm going to give you a tupper monial for myself that you're welcome to use at your parties if you'd like. I used to use other people's tupper monials all the time until I like had my own specific and I still do, especially if I don't have something specific for that. But about, I would say about a month ago, not even maybe, I told my husband, I'm like, I want to make some salsa. I need some cilantro. I need to go to the store. He's like, there's cilantro in the refrigerator. I'm like, uh, no, there's not. I haven't bought cilantro in over a month. He's like, yeah, but you didn't use it. And it was in a fridge mart. It's still good. I'm like, shut up. It is not. I know it works, French marts, but I didn't think it would last a month in cilantro in there. It was one month. Cilantro lasts in my refrigerator in a fridge mart. I can tell you that cilantro usually only lasts like three days, not in a fridge mart. So, tupperimonial from me to you. All right, so now I have an idea for an activity. Now, this is gonna bring more fact to your parties. So here's the idea for the activity. I want you to go to the store and buy some cilantro and come home and clean it up. I want you to put half in your fridge mart and half in the rotter drawer, which we know is the, uh, what, the uh, crisper, I can't even think what it was called because I call it the rotter drawer so much. And I want you to take a picture of it every single day. Every day, take a picture. You can post it online, you can just take a picture and then, you know, for yourself. And then, and then you can use the pics as a flip book, right? You can put it together and have a flip book of both because you can get a picture of the one that's in the rotter drawer and one's in the fridge mart. Um, or you can use like the before and after, and then you have your lap boards, which I wanted to have right here, but they're right back here. Hang on. Okay, so these are my lap boards, and on the back, um, I usually put the say yes offer, which is what this is right now. But as you can see, these are my lap boards, and on the back, you have this little like a uh, um, like a clear plastic. You know, you can put things in, right? So with Fridge Marts, hello, I sell these like crazy even when they're not on sale, but they're gonna be on sale soon as well. So it's nice to have like your before and after picture. So take the before picture and then take the after of it in the rotter drawer after one month and in the, the Fridge Smart and then put it on here because this is your before and after. You guys ever saw the before and after pictures of people who lost weight and you're like looking at them going, there's no way it's that person. There's no way. You're trying to find every little thing that's wrong with it. Like look, she didn't have that mark before right or oh she just got a spray tan and she's sucking it in right like and 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 you don't know because it really isn't you or someone you know so if you're taking somebody else's pictures it's the same way they're like yeah right that didn't happen but if they're your pictures right then you can put them on here and you can say these are from my refrigerator I did these this transformation is for real so it's like a great activity to be able to bring to your parties and give them some facts um, because really People want some facts, and so I'll put these on a little um, sheet of paper so you can print them out, and then you can put them on index cards, because I like to have index cards as well. Um, maybe you can put them and print them out and put them, laminate them, and then you can pass them out and have people like say the facts. So you can say, hey, Megan, you have this fact. Go ahead and talk about this, and then she can you know, say the fact, and people are like, oh, wow, that's a cool idea. Um, so these are things that you should know, um, and, and you don't have to talk about them at every single party, but 
if I was doing this recipe specifically, I would totally talk about these facts about that. And then maybe you can find some facts in avocados or some facts of, you know, why steaming is better. So just finding things to give value because we really do need to be able to talk at parties. And yes, we need to have fun. And yes, we need to have food. But we have to have facts as well. If you do those three things, your parties are guaranteed to be amazing. I'm just saying. They just are. So those are our fun food and facts for tonight. I hope you guys love them. Okay, so first of all, I got lots of yeses from you guys. I'm going to do that. I have the other two already up and running, so I'm going to have that. Everything's going to be done and on the computer. Um, I should have it on there tonight. I have everybody's stuff, so I can just upload it. And um, and then this video will also be rec that's re being recorded right now is going to be put. Not only is it going to be put on the event that we just had because there's going to be events every single week that's made for this, but it's also going to be an album that I've already started in Tupperer and Champions. All right, so we have a question. I did the before and after with strawberries. Should at a party and almost everyone purchased? Yeah, at least one first one. Exactly. Because people want to see that. They want to know. They're like, yeah, right, that doesn't work. But it does. And we should be able to show them. So that's a great testimonial, Chastity. Thank you for sharing that. So anybody have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and post them right here. Um, see, it totally does. See, it's at, someone else just said that. And it's true. Um, we had 39 people on tonight, guys. This is the highest amount we've ever, ever had. Woo, so great. Um, Darlene says, I was skeptical and put cut up celery in one and it crisp three weeks later. Exactly. I did a video with romaine lettuce and in 50 days you could still hear the lettuce crunch. Exactly. I've done grapes for three weeks. See, I'm not just saying it. This is from all of you too. This works and it's amazing and I'm so excited. We have 39 people on tonight. Woo! It's the highest we've ever had. We're going to go for 50 next week. All right, let's play some romper, stomper, bumper. Let's see who's on. Well, hello again to Lori. Thank you. And we have Sue on. Hello. Hello, Sue. Thank you for joining us. And I see Megan again. Hello, Megan. Thank you. Let's see who else I can see. I have Candy on. Patricia's on. Chris is on. Darlene is on. Hello. Um, let's see. We have Judy on. And I know I said hi to some of you, but I'm saying hi again. And Johnny's on. And Stacy's on. And Tiffany's on. Tiffany's Christmas tree is still up. If I were you, I'd just keep it up all year round, you know, because there's such a pain in the drain to get down. Um, Katie's on. April's on. Christina's on. Patricia's on now. Hello, Patricia. And we have the other Katie. I'm so excited you got on. And Kendra's on. Yay. And Sarah and John's on. Yay. Hi, John. And Steph is on. And there's Steph. Oh, we get to see Steph. Hello. And oh, Barb is on. Barb is actually named Barb J now. He didn't used to say Barb J. And Tammy's on. And Stacy, which I'm not going to try your last name again because I probably won't get it, but I'm so glad you're on. And hello, Laura. And oh, look, Amy's on. Hello, Amy. And we've got Ashley and Connie is on. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Amanda and Jessica and Rebecca Fickleman and Jen Tackett and Chastity and Mary and Jen Gibson and Tracy Straw. Wow. We have Bernice and Cindy. That's so awesome. And let's see what we have right here. Oh, I love you guys too. Great fun food and facts. Great job to all. I am so glad that you guys were all on tonight for the very, very first one of the year. So I bet you're probably wondering what we're gonna do for our aha drawing, because actually some of you might be so new that you don't even know what this is, so let me just educate you. Actually, let me stop the recording and then I'll educate you on what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna say goodbye to the recording, but don't, don't, get, don't go off, guys, okay? Thanks, guys, for joining us. We'll see you next week.